fundamental subjects. Let's be honest, for the majority of people, the fundamental subjects by themselves can get boring in school. At some point in calculus, you may wonder what the point is of learning all of the integration methods other than to do well in the test next week. Or in chemistry, you may wonder why it is important to be able to accomplish titrations properly when you just want to design buildings that can handle earthquakes. Some of these subjects can seem unrelated or boring at times, but many good ideas can come about from looking at things from different perspectives. When building some of the biggest structures in the world, a lot of responsibilities are put upon the engineers. This is especially the case in the event that things fail, particularly when these projects involve human life and lots of money. Unfortunate events, often deemed disasters like the explosion of Challenger, have become infamous and simple mistakes or neglect in design and experimentation can be to blame. While the catastrophe of Challenger involved complex and reasonably new technology, the main functional reason of the disaster can be attributed to the failure of an O-ring seal due to lower elasticity from cold temperature and therefore poor seal. Elasticity is one of the very important topics in physics and mechanics courses. More positively, the basic principles that often seem boring can be applied to many more topics within engineering. Expanding on the basic foundations allows for research, design, and communication of ideas. This especially applies to complex and innovative projects. In order to design a building, not only will structural stability be in consideration, but also fluid and thermodynamics. electricity and its components, environmental impact, and aesthetics. All of these topics include some combination or another of the basic math and science courses that unfortunately may become boring in the classroom. Therefore, I hope that the next time you wonder why you need to learn something, that you remember it can make a big difference between a big boon and a big boom.